For our project, we wanted to find out the therapeutic values of beekeeping. We went to the Dundrum Central Mental Hospital, where the consultant in charge, Dr. Damien Moen, let us film and conduct an interview. Our aim was to find the reasons why this project has been so successful and to see if there were any therapeutic values in beekeeping. During this video, you will hear the interview that we conducted and in the background, you will see the apiary that has been set up in the hospital along with some of the surrounding gardens. Well, I, I work as a consultant forensic psychiatrist in the Central Mental Hospital and I am the clinical lead in this project and sort of setting up the initiative part, although by no means do I do uh, most of the work. I've in July 2012, some members of the staff went to train at the beekeeping course in Cormanstown and during the following winter, a group of patients met weekly to construct the hives and position them in the new apiary. Uh, and then from February 14 onwards, we provided a course for the patients to learn the, the necessary skills. So it really started back in, in 2012, but it's a three or four year program. And our first uh, honey was really produced in the July, summer of 2014. Uh, so, and it's still ongoing. Well, why did we choose this? Well, um, this was a project that required a lot of work and patients had extra time. Uh, we also had the grounds in the Central Mental Hospital uh, and it, it seemed we have this as part of a project in addition to other uh, animal husbandry type projects in the hospital. Uh, firstly, they uh, had to train and go on the course. They were involved in building the hives from the woodwork department, building the uh, the bee shed and setting up on the ground. And they were also involved then in the day to day management of the, the bees, including disease prevention and harvesting of the honey. Well, uh, we assessed this using psychological rating instruments. We measured the patient's uh, sense of well-being before and after the project, and there was uh, a, an improvement in their overall scores. And particularly for some of the female patients who were involved in the side products of using beeswax uh, and, and making soap and candle shades and so on. In terms of the negative effects, um, I haven't really noticed any. There is the risk of uh, staff and patients being getting sting, so a stung. So that 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 is a potential, uh, and it has happened from time to time. So we have to have the necessary um, safeguards in place and, and first aid. But overall, our overall conclusion that while it may appear counterintuitive that patients with risk behaviours benefit from beekeeping. In addition to the global environment benefits associated with keeping bees, it became clear to us that both people and bees alike thrive on nurturing order and respect in their lives. People, like bees, have the potential to become discontent when these requirements are not met, and with the right approach, the complexity of the apiary and the hospital can be brokered into calmness and productivity for both communities on their recovery journey. Initially, we set out to build an apiary and asylum, however, our study concluded that patients, when equipped with the appropriate knowledge and the skills, were noticed to be seeking asylum in the apiary. Our conclusion is that, despite the odd bee sting, there is a very positive, therapeutic value to be found in beekeeping. We hope you enjoyed our video, and thanks for watching.